All right, so the very first figure that we're gonna be unboxing today, and it's actually pretty much almost unboxed because once I took it out of the actual uh, box that I got it out of uh, when I got it off of uh, Amazon, as you can probably see, some of the bubbles already coming off the actual card. But it is none other than the uh, the King of Atlantis, good old Aquaman from Wave Four of the DC McFarland Superpowers line. And you've seen that I've actually uh, unboxed some of these before. And the next one that we're also going to be unboxing is the Robin from Wave 5 of the DC McFarlane Superpowers line. And I've already unboxed the Wave 1 Batman. Uh, go and check out that particular video if you want to watch that particular toy unboxing. But speaking of Batman, I also am going to be unboxing none other than the Dark Knight himself, the batman of wave five of the dc mcfarland superpowers line now you might think well didn't you already unbox a batman and i answer yes this is a little different as you probably can already tell just looking at this particular batman as it rolls around coming to a next uh stop and so we can see the bubble here yes so this is a different batman and i'm going to go into the details of the difference between the ones that i have already uh, so we're going to do like we always do. We're going to let them breathe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this particular figure that I'm going to be reviewing today is none other than Arthur Curry himself, the King of Atlantis, a.k.a. Aquaman. And uh, this is not the, the Aquaman from the um, James Gunn or the... I would guess you would say Zack Snyder, DCEU. So this is basically one of the uh, comic book ad adaptations of Arthur Curry in the comics uh, when he has his long hair. But this is right before, I guess, he got his hand cut off and he has a fish hook for a hand. He uh, is one of the only, the very few figures out of this toy line for the super superpower for the DC McFarlane superpowers line that actually comes with an accessory, which is the uh, his trident there you go and with these particular figures like i've said before in other reviews of these particular figures they're simplistic in nature just because of the fact that they're supposed to represent the originals uh superpowers line that kenner had back in its original uh heyday before they went over to toy biz for a second and then they went back to kenner and to my knowledge that i know of and i i you know, don't quote me if I'm wrong. I don't believe they actually made a, an Aquaman with the long hair before the line was actually canceled or when they went out of business, whatever came first. And so <clears throat> this is actually a great figure to have just on the, on the merit that, you know, this is the long haired uh, Aquaman. And if there was an Aquaman before, which I'm pretty sure there was, um, it would only have the one that we would have seen in the superpowers or the super friends with the short hair. And people used to make fun of him back in the day because they're like, oh, he can't really. And that was the one thing that a lot of people used to make fun of about Aquaman is like, oh, he, he he's only he's only like, you know, useful when you're in water. So like if you're in, on land, he can't really hurt you. But we've all seen in the most recent DCEU um, with uh, Jason Momoa's version of Aquaman is he can probably mess you up on land too. He just has a lot more of an advantage if he's in the water. So on the arms, there's only an articulation on the shoulders here. You can move his head, you know, side to side. It doesn't go up or down. These, and again, these are simplistic in that, you know, they're, they're not meant to be that articulative, although you can, the knees you can actually bend, which the original ones from the Kenner days, you couldn't bend the the the, uh, the knees. It was only you know the legs up and down. No articulation on the, the the feet or the ankles. He does have the fins on the back of his legs. There's his caps here. There we go. I don't know if they actually had the same thing on the Arthur Curry from the original uh, Kenner line for the superpowers. I'll have to take a look at that. I've only seen just like from the waist up very few that I've actually seen on like eBay or Macari that are actually, you know, mint on card. Those are, uh, those bad boys are quite pricey, but, <clears throat> um, you can see the scaling 
they did a really good job of uh, tooling on the on the scaling of his you know torso, which is basically what it's supposed to show. Like you know, scaling like fish it does have the A on the, the buckle. Again, I don't know. I've actually never had the original Superpowers figure in hand from the Kenner day, so I don't know if they had the A on the buckle. Um, they kept it like they didn't really take a pay a lot of attention back then for that. You know, as far as like action figures, they made it as close as they could, and then they kind of call it a day. Uh, the Trident does fit pretty well in his hand, which is cool. Uh, I hate one of these uh, type of like, you know, basic figures where you can't really put anything in their hand. And if they do, they, they kind of fall down. Again, this is one of the rare figures that actually has um, an accessory like uh, Deathstroke has a sword. Green Lantern has his lantern. Uh, Aquaman has his trident. And who else? Is there anybody else that I know of? Not that I can see here. So... <clears throat> I'm actually really glad that I actually have this particular figure. I uh, got this, uh, if I'm not sure if I already verified this when I did the intro, uh, because I did the intro like a few weeks ago, <laughs> and now I'm doing the um, actual review, you know, weeks later, like I said, so I'm not sure what I said in the uh, intro. I should have actually just, you know, <laughs> brushed up on what I actually said, so I don't, you know, keep saying the same thing twice. But... I actually got this off of Amazon during the Christmas season. I knew I couldn't really kind of buy myself a lot of stuff uh, with my money because I was saving up to buy my kids stuff for Christmas. So I, you know, over the year, uh, the whole year, I have a lot of these apps, which you guys actually, you know, cheap plug. If you guys actually want to kind of like get some free money, um, it's real easy to do. You download these apps like Fetch, uh, Receipt Hog, Receipt Pal, uh, Coin Out. And basically what you do is you scan your receipts. Anytime you buy something, you have your receipt. You know, you normally you throw it away, but you can scan it and you can get points. And the more apps that you have, the more points you can, you know, accrue. accrue. I can never say that correctly. Um, the more points you can save up and you can redeem them for gift cards. And so what I did was I had like through all the apps that I have, I think I had like four or five that I have. Um, I got about a little over a hundred bucks of gift cards and I just cashed them all in during that time uh, Amazon was having a massive blowout on you know savings on Funko Pops I had I bought about like 15 Funko Pops plus I got this I got all the other figures like the the Batman the Robin uh, that I'm gonna be going over as well so you know kids you want to be able to, to get free money Scan your scan your receipts and then you'll be able to get gift cards for like eBay, Amazon, stuff like that. You know, uh, you can even do it like a regular credit card and you can just uh, give them the, the credit card number. And that'll actually give you some money to buy stuff. But I digress. Um, it's a pretty cool figure. I like it. Uh, it's definitely a great addition to uh, my my collection here. As far as the series here. This particular series for uh, Aquaman is series four that I actually, or series four. Well, series four and wave four is pretty much the same thing. And <clears throat> so I actually uh, need to get the rest of these because I got them um, off out of the series. Like whatever they, I think I got this for like maybe $5, maybe even less. So that's actually a really, really good deal. All right. So that does for Aquaman. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the Robin figure that I'm going to be going over today is none other than Tim Drake, uh, which is a good thing because on the front packaging, it does not say whether this is Dick Grayson or whether this is uh, Tim Drake or Jason Todd. There have been many, many different Robins over the years, which makes sense because on one of the, the waves, they actually do have Nightwing. I already uh, reviewed Nightwing, so naturally that would be Dick Grayson. There's no other Nightwing that I remember other than uh, Dick Grayson. So it would make sense that they would actually go with Tim Drake, which was the next Robin after uh, Tim Drake, after Tim Drake was Jason Todd, who then became uh, the Red Hood. And then after that was uh, Damian Wayne, who was then the, the Nightwing then, uh, or not Nightwing, uh, Robin. He was, I think it was the last Robin that I remember uh, out of the many Robins that there were. There was even a woman, a girl Robin, I forget her name. 
but um, on the back of the carding, it does show that it, 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 this is Tim Drake, so this is pretty cool. This is not off of Wave 4, no, Wave 5, because on Wave 3, uh, no, Wave 4, sorry about that, I'm trying to remember what I read, uh, but on Wave 4, they had the Robin from the original Superpowers line, which was the old school Robin. So you're probably able to see the old school Robin here. Now it's odd that they would actually do two Robins back to back. So I would I would imagine uh, if I thinking that this would be the correct way to do it. So the first Wave Four Robin may have been Dick Grayson in the original because he was the original one. Uh, and again, you can see the, the picture here. And then in Wave 5, they went with Tim Drake. So that would kind of be a natural progression um, for these particular figures. He does come with a little nice um, soft goods cape in the style that they normally do. Uh, on these capes, you can see it's like a little circle here that goes around their necks. And a lot of times, when we were kids, we would always lose the soft goods. And... <laughs> Uh, always would have to play with them without it. Uh, I was very careful, or at least I tried to be anyway, very careful with saving the soft goods because you always want to have a cape, you know, if you're playing Batman and Robin or whatever, whatever have you, even Superman, you want to make sure you have a cape. Otherwise, it's like, you know, it loses its, uh, you know, imagination when you're playing with them if he's supposed to fly in the air or fly. You know, if he has superpowers, he can fly without a cape. It doesn't really make sense. Just like all the other superpower lines, he does have uh, articulations on the shoulders here, nothing at the joints or the elbows. It is a, a more updated Robin that you probably remember from maybe the Batman the Animated Series, but that's not, um, that's not Rob. Dick Grayson's Robin because in the Batman the Animated Series that this looking Robin that he the costume is wearing now that's what he looks like in the Batman the Animated Series and then and when Tim Drake uh, is introduced in the Batman and the Superman and Batman the Superman and Batman show if that was the, the, the name the new adventures of uh, Superman and Batman I think that's what it was called Tim Drake it's a he's a little bit shorter and he's uh, with the black yellow and red instead of the green red and yellow so it's pretty cool it does also again just like with all the other uh, you know figures they do have articulation in the knees no articulation on the ankles he does not come with uh, any type of you know accessories just a soft goods so that's pretty much you know as good as you're gonna get uh, again these uh, and I don't want to make me you know keep you know keep it uh, the name of the <laughs> I keep th forgetting the how you would say certain quotes keep beating a dead horse here there we go you just they, they try to make these uh, as simple as possible for the nostalgia factor like for people like me a little kid will probably play with this but he'd be like yo like I, I go to Walmart and I see all these like you know DC McFarlane action figures six inches and they're a lot more cooler and they come with weapons and stands but these figures were made not for a regular, you know, run of the mill child. They're made for people like me in the 40s and the 50s that remember playing with these when we were kids. So naturally, this is going to have a little bit more of a wow factor and more for not necessarily playing, but for collecting and, and displaying. So uh, I do like the fact that they did have his hair spiked uh, rather than just like homely neatly combed like the Dick Grayson is on wave four. Uh, I definitely am going to be sitting or putting him right next to Batman, which I'm going to be uh, reviewing next. So com comment in the section if you actually like this uh, Robin or what's your favorite Robin or which is your favorite uh, uh, Aquaman. Do you like the one with the hook for a hand and uh, then the trident or the short hair or long hair? You know, let us know in the comment section. So let's go to the next one. All right, and ending this review out is none other than the Dark Knight himself, Batman. And this is the DC McFarlane Superpowers line Batman, which may seem a little familiar to folks uh, who have been watching the channel before because it may look like I've actually um, reviewed this particular Batman. 
and I answer because this is, you know, very uh, familiar to the toy biz, which is a little bit bigger than this one of uh, the toy biz Batman from the uh, 1989 uh, Michael Keaton Batman. And that's the reason why this is probably going to be a lot more popular for collectors like myself to get this. Because if you don't have this, this is as close as you're going to get from the 1989 Batman because of the fact that um, that was part of the the uh, the Toy Biz line when the movie came out. Then it went back to Kenner for Batman Returns, and I also have the series one Batman. Um, and they're also in another series. They're going to be having the actual Batman with the regular royal blue and gray with the yellow uh, logo for the bat signal Batman. I'm going to be looking out for that. This is actually part of Wave 5, which also comes with uh, the Robin. It also comes with the uh, old school version of Nightwing and also a, another Flash, but it's a little more darker uh, red and, and red and yellow rather than the one that I already have. Now, other than the height of this particular Batman, now other than the height of the actual scaling of the the figure, which the, I, again I'm really surprised that I was able to find this uh, intact with the cape, and it's not that bad. But yo, the best part of this figure was the retractable belt, which basically, you know reacts and the fact that i actually got the belt intact and the string is still pretty good where you can extend it and it's not going to be all like you know you know beat up where you can actually you know keep it extended out but it's supposed to be like a back grapple but it does not come with this particular it would be even better if they did that with this particular batman i would hope that they would probably do maybe a special edition and do that with the same like this but yeah, so essentially Kenner was the first to do the uh, DC Superpowers line. Then it went to Toy Biz for a minute. And when the, the uh, Michael Keaton Batman came out and then it went back to Kenner for Batman Returns. I actually have a couple of those myself. Uh, Kenner uh, made, pretty much made every single Batman figure that you could possibly imagine because of the actual uh, Batman the Animated Series came out. That's when Kenner just exploded with so much uh, Batman stuff. Uh, I've actually uh, reviewed some of the other Batmans that I have as well. But it's pretty cool to have them both. Um, when I saw it in um, advertisements for this particular Wave 5, I was like, oh my god, they did the actual Batman for the 1989 you know, Keaton Batman. So that was a no-brainer. I also got that off of Amazon myself. And it was a part of like a big... I was so happy. Like I knew like may, I would get maybe some stuff for Christmas, which... You know, as you get older and you have a family, you know, Christmas comes a little bit less and less important for you as a person because, you know, you as a parent, you're probably not going to get that much for Christmas. It's not about you. It's about the kids. Um, as a parent, you'll it, I, I have not ran into a parent, uh, mother or father that is like, yeah, you know, it's uh, Christmas is really about the kids just seeing the, the look on their faces when they open up, open up your presents, which, by the way, if you guys want to see the uh, looks of my children's faces, uh, go ahead and check out the Christmas uh, edition of the toy unboxing for us where the kids open up the presents and I open up some of my presents as well. Check that out. But I really, really jump at the chance to actually get this because uh, I love it. love it so much. And the fact, again, that I had this one that's in pretty good condition. You know, the only thing really you can tell is that the, the amp. The uh, pointy-eared Batman for the cowl on the top just got a little, a little bit too, you know. You can tell it was play with, but for the the condition I got it was awesome. For the price I got it too. Uh, but yeah, so that does it for this edition of the uh, toy unboxings for the DC Superpowers line. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube. Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok, and also follow us on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys, again, for watching another toy unboxing. Keep on cruising.